To the ancient Greeks, Pan was the shepherder, half man, half goat, a harmless creature, one of nature, sent to beguile mankind. In centuries to come, the once benevolent creature, Pan, would later be encapsulated into the ultimate personification of evil, the devil. To give any creature the attributes of a half-man, half-goat, is therefore to link them inherently with evil. Too true, it could be said, of the world's best-known modern-day tale of a goat-man. He does fit the bill of an evildoer, lurking in the woods of Maryland, looking for his next victim to devour the family dog, terrorise amorous couples on remote roads. What of the stories of New Zealand goat men? Unlike their Northern Hemisphere counterparts, the goat men of New Zealand appear to be portents of a happening, such as an earthquake or a road accident warning humans to stay away from a spot, or tread or drive warily. Are they here to signal us to be wary, or otherwise? New Zealand is home to two legends, both colloquially known as the Goat Man. Both fit the same broad description. A large, hairy, smelly man with hooves instead of feet. Let's look at them both. Find out if they're here to warn us of impending danger, or remain an enmity best avoided. Stories of a desert road goat man near the Wairuru military camp began being circulated in the 70s. A strange, darkly clad hitchhiker that appears in remote places along desolate stretches seeking a ride. Never discover who he is till he leaves the car. Nor does he tend to travel far. Those that oblige him are said to be blessed with good fortune. The small detail of picking him up, being the difference sometimes between the driver having an accident that evening or not. Those that leave him behind and drive by, well, it's not so good for them. The goat man can also sometimes be seen by vehicles travelling the desert road, moving on all fours. It is said he is a kaitiaki, the Maori term for a spiritual guide. Stories of a goat man in the Port Town Cemetery began in the 60s. Two descriptions are offered. A half man, half goat creature similar to that of the Desert Road. The other, a large dishevelled man carrying the head of a goat on a stick. It has been said his presence is related to the Ripapa Island in the harbour. The Ripapa was once the site of a Maripa naval fort, prison and quarantine station. Some of New Zealand's worst indulgences. Perhaps the long dead spectre of one of the cemetery's guests. Whatever the origins, both entities are certainly nocturnal. They don't want you and me going anywhere near the cemetery come darkness. Why? Because they're protecting someone or something? Their own grave, perhaps? Are these appearances in Littleton a precursor for natural disasters? 
Littleton was the site of some of the worst damage caused by the 2011 earthquake. Rumours and stories abound on both sides of the scales. As with the Desert Road Goatman, those that have had encounters say he is more than an urban legend. If you can help add to either story, please be sure to put your addition in the comments. I hope to see you next time, if you enjoyed this, of a number of uniquely New Zealand ghost stories in the pipeline. So, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.